hey guys so in the last lecture we were seeing rating of si uh, engine fuel so in that we have seen the first that is octane number so how the octane number is given so if uh, the iso octane is considered to of having an octane number of 100 is a reference given to iso octane and n, n heptane the reference is given as zero so uh, on the basis uh, this number are given on the basis of the uh, tendency to knock so to tendency to knock on this basis it is given and after that uh, we have seen various method to uh, find out this number that is motor octane number uh, and research octane number this is research octane number research octane number RON and motor octane number MON and the average of this two octane number is called road octane number so this is road octane number so I will just uh, write this is R dash this is road octane number and this is research octane number then we have seen the fuel sensitivity sensitivity there is difference between the octane numbers now we will see another uh, uh, performance measuring characteristics that is PN performance number so this is performance number that is PN so performance number is also measured the ability of the fuel to resist detonation or knocking so it is the ability of the fuel to resist uh, detonation and knocking so that is called performance number so with the advancement of the fuel technology many hydrocarbons have been found to have octane number more than 100 so they have found it of octane number more than 100 so uh, for example lead compound such as tetraethyl lead when added to iso octane produces fuel of greater anti knock quality so what it is saying that iso octane plus uh, tetraethyl lead so this is added so it is giving more greater anti knock quality than iso or uh, than iso octane hence the hence to express the relative rating another scale has been devised so in the last scale what was the limitations that you cannot go above 100 so it was from 0 to 100 but uh, we found a few uh, chemicals if added added to the iso octane so it was having more than 100 uh, quality so uh, another scale has been devised which is called this performance number that is pn so another scale has to be devised so pn rating enables to develop a scale beyond 100 octane number so performance number can be identified as the ratio of so pn is the ratio of knock limited indicated mean effective pressure so that is knock limited indicated mean effective pressure kli mep of the test fuel to the knock to the knock limited indicated mean effective pressure of iso octane so this is of test fuel and this of iso octane oc t a n e of iso octane so performance number may be expressed based on the indicated power produced by the supercharged engine operating under standard condition it is the ratio of maximum power so it can be defined as the ratio of maximum power so ratio of maximum power produced by engine without knocking with test fuel used to maximum power produced by an engine without knocking using iso octane so this is power produced without knocking with test fuel 
डिवाइड बाय पावर प्रोड्यूस्ड विदाउट नॉकिंग विथ आइसो विथ आइसो ऑक्टेन सो द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द ऑक्टेन नंबर एंड द परफॉर्मेंस नंबर कैन बी गिवन एज सो सपोज ऑक्टेन नंबर इज ओ एन इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड प्लस पी एन माइनस हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई थ्री सो हियर एज यू कैन सी हियर इफ द परफॉर्मेंस नंबर इज लेस देन हंड्रेड then the octet number will also be less than 100 because this will be negative so this is the relationship between octet number and performance number now the third characteristics uh, third variable that is used is hucr so what is this so it is highest useful compression ratio so as we know that power output as we know that power output and efficiency of si engine increases with increasing compression ratio so it increases with increasing compression ratio so that is r so but the maximum compression ratio of any si engine is limited by its tendency uh, that to knock that if you are increasing the compression ratio then the uh, tendency to knock also increases so highest useful compression ratio that is hucr is a method to express knock rating of a fuel in terms of limiting compression ratio so this method of fuel rating was introduced by ricardo so it was introduced by ricardo and it is obtained by carrying out test variable compression ratio engine under specified operating conditions so what here basically it is done that here a useful compression ratio is to be found out so we can eliminate the knock so uh, when so when the spark timing and mixture strength have been adjusted to give its maximum efficiency so uh, to find hucr of fuel of a fuel the compression ratio of the engine increased till knocking are reached so Uh, hucr can be defined as highest we can define as highest compression ratio at which fuel can be used without detonation so the hucr of of fuels determined by ricardo uh you using a variable compression ratio engine uh, are that toluens is having a 15 hucr toluens then benzene is having 14.6 then isooctane is having 10.96 then cycloheptane is having 8.2 and anheptane is having 3.75 so these are the various methods to find the hucr so this ends our various performance uh, measures characteristic measures uh, for si engine so these are the various sorry rating these are the rating of si engine fuel now we will see for ci engine that is compression ignition engines so let's start so important qualities required for ic engine but we have discussed for si engine so we will to uh, see through in today's lecture ci engine fuels and also we'll see rating of fuels so what are the various important qualities required for a uh, ci engine so first uh, let's discuss in the same way so first is the volatility the volatility of diesel fuel is not much high as gasoline so volatility is not required very high here such high volatility fuels are generally not used in ci engine so it uh, it is not required however the volatility affects the spray characteristics and may affect both power output and efficiency and the ci engine fuel should be sufficient volatile in the operating temperature range to make proper rate of evaporation of fuel 
and to produce good mixing and combination mixing and combustion so a uh, result which will result in reduced objectionable smoke order in the exhaust gases but high volatile fuel increases the nox in exhaust so it will increase the nox if volatility is high then second is ignition quality second is ignition quality so ignition quality is a measure of ability of a fuel to ignite properly uh, after igni uh, injection uh, after injection thus ensuring ensuring a proper smooth burning and easy starting of the engine so it is measured in terms of ignition temperature and ignition delay uh, ignition delay means time period between the start of the injection and start of the combustion so delay ignition delay is equal to uh, time period between uh, ignition time minus uh, combustion time start of the combustion time start ignition time and start of the combustion <coughs> so the ignition quality is better with shorter delay period when the uh, delay is shorter the ignition quality is better and lower self ignition and when ignition is uh, lower self ignition is lower uh, that is self ignition temperature is lower uh, high c10 number uh, reduces the self ignition temperature and permits to ignite more quickly when injected to combustion chamber hence it reduces the problem of cold starting also with high ct number of the fuel compression ratio can be lowered without uh, facing the knocking problem in the ci engine so uh, that is the benefit of uh, c10 c10 number now let's discuss in detail more c10 number c10 number so what is c10 number so a c10 number of a diesel fuel is measure of its ability to auto ignite quickly it is an ability to auto ignite quickly when it is injected into compressed and heated air in the ci engine so when uh, it is injected to compressed and heated air in the ci engine it determines ignition quality of a diesel fuel it determines the ignition quality of the diesel fuel c10 number is a numerical number uh, measure uh, of determining or uh, the of the ignition delay for diesel fuel higher the c10 number reduces the tendency to diesel knock so more the c10 number it's good it reduces the knock so uh, while in petrol engine we were seeing octane number here we are seeing c10 number then fourth characteristic is a uh, knock characteristic so knocking in ci engine is due to higher delay period ignition lag in the combustion so as the combustion lag increases the amount of fuel accumulated increases and abnormal combustion takes place so when the actual combustion begins hence good ci engine fuels should have low delay period and should ignite more quickly so a high c10 number fuels are normally used to avoid knocking tendency of the ci engine so that is fifth point sorry fourth point and fifth point is specific gravity and heat of combustion so specific gravity is the ratio of density of a fluid to the density of water at 15.6 degrees celsius so the oil industry uses api the oil industry uses api for relative density of fuels which is adopted by american petroleum institute is given by api gravity is equal to 141.5 divided by specific gravity uh, at 15.6 degrees celsius minus 
131.5 in degrees so the api gravity of diesel fuel represent uh, heat of combustion heat energy released during burning fuel higher api uh, higher api gravity of fuel contains more kilojoule heat per kg and hence brake specific fuel consumption bsfc of engine is lowered so specific gravity and api gravity range for ca engine is 0.83 specific gravity and api gravity is 0.9 uh 0.9 sorry sorry specific gravity is from 0.83 to 0.9 and api uh, gravity is 39 to 26 degree api respectively respectively means of this this and this this uh, so next uh, is sixth point that is viscosity so what is viscosity so viscosity uh so it is a property of a fluid uh, which is having an internal fluid resistance which is due to the internal fluid resistance as we know that in ca engine diesel is injected into combustion chamber and hence viscosity is important characteristic of ca engine as it affects the atomization of the diesel pressure of fuel pump and operation of lubrication so the viscosity of the fuel should be low enough to allow bulk flow and high enough to carry out lubrication too low viscosity can cause under wear of pump and increase maintenance and very high viscosity can create problem of starting uh, of the engine and produce undesirable high pressure on pump and fuel lines then seventh eighth point is so seventh point is flash point and fire point eighth point is cloud point and pour point so what are this all point here so flash point is a lowest temperature at which the fuel will vaporize sufficiently to form a combust combustible mixture of fuel vapor and air above surface so and fire point is the temperature which enough vapor will uh, rise to produce a continuous flame above the liquid fuel and a uh, flame must be sustained at least 5 second the flame and fire points indicates the temperature below which the fuel can handle uh, safely without any danger of fire so so our fuel should be lower than this point then next is cloud point and pour point so fuel oil used in ci engine should be readily flow under all condition and the requirement is measured by the cloud and pour points so cloud point is a temperature at which the wax content of the petroleum oil separates out in the form of solid and the wax is solid must be separate out otherwise it may clog the uh, fuel lines and fuel filters and pour point as a temperature below which the entire mass of the fuel solid liquid and together freeze and the cause of flow is impossible and the pour point is important only when the engine has to run at low temperatures and the pour point of fuel must be marginally below uh, the operating uh, temperature of the engine otherwise fuel feeding is not possible so these are the four points which are very important then uh, ninth and tenth ninth is sulfur content and tenth is cleanliness so the presence of sulfur in diesel increases wear due to acidic corrosion and deposition of carbon on the piston rings so so2 sulfur dioxide formed reacts with lubricating oil so it reacts with lubricating oil and form the gum and form gum varnish and hard deposits gum 
varnish and hard deposits also sulfur contained diesel fuel reduces the self ignition temperature of the fuel and the injected diesel starts burning at low temperature in the combustion chamber and the limiting content of the fuel uh, sulfur in the diesel is 0.5% next cleanliness uh, so as we know that ci engine uh, fuel supply system has very precise parts like injectors fuel pumps etc therefore cleanliness is very important factor for ci engine also diesel is more viscous than gasoline and hence it has tendency to hold more solid particles in suspended form the content of sand rust particles and dirt can clog orifices and abrasive particles can damage injector fuel pumps piston rings cylinder walls etc the water content of a fuel can freeze and clog filter and fuel lines at a high temperature can promote rusting in fuel system diesel oil must be passing through filtering process before it uh, enters the fuel supply system so these are the various important points uh, which are required uh, for uh, ci engine fuels for becoming a ci engine fuel now a small topic is uh, remaining uh, that is rating of ci engine fuel that we will discuss in next lecture uh, so thank you very much